The Mail app on your iPhone can do so much more than you think. Here's one feature that I use all the time. In the search box, I start typing spreadsheet. Then I scroll down and tap spreadsheet attachments. So it shows all my emails that I got with spreadsheets, but I can narrow the search further. Just tap in the search box again. If I search program, I can quickly pull up an email that a friend sent me that has a weightlifting program attached as a spreadsheet. This also works for other kind of attachments, such as for example, PowerPoint attachments or Word documents. Here's another way to drill down to just the emails that you're looking for. From the main screen, either swipe left or tap mailboxes at the top left, then tap edit at the top right. And you can set up some so-called smart mailboxes. For example, all the emails with attachments or all the emails where you were in the to or in the CC field. So let me tap done and just go to attachments and they're all right there. Another feature that I love is that you can set people to be VIPs. And there's a few things you can do with that. Here I have an email from a friend and I'm just gonna tap her name and then you'll see her contact card. And and it'll say add to VIP at the bottom. So I'll tap that. Now, here's the first thing I can do with this. If I go back to my main email inbox, I can go to that same screen where we were before. And now there's a separate entry for VIP. If that's not there, again, tap edit and just make sure that you put the check mark in front of VIP. Go into VIP and you can see only the emails from the people that are very important to you. But there's another thing we can do. If I go to the settings app, and then I can go to mail and then I tap notifications and then I scroll down to the bottom and I go customize notifications. What I can do is actually, for example, set mail to not notify me of any new email except from people who are marked as VIPs, which can be a really great way to not get as many interruptions and notifications. On the opposite side of the spectrum, if you don't wanna hear from someone anymore and you can't unsubscribe or you've tried unsubscribing and it didn't work, you can block them. So let's long tap an email and then just scroll down and you can tap block sender. Now, their emails will go straight to the trash. If you want to get off an email list, there's usually an unsubscribe button at the bottom of an email, but often you can unsubscribe with a very quick tap at the top of the screen like you see right here where it says unsubscribe. So I can tap that and just tap unsubscribe again and mail will handle the unsubscribing for you. This is often a first good option before you try blocking senders. Here's a tip for making sure that no emails slip through the cracks. When you're checking your email inbox, don't start replying to the first email that you see. Instead, triage first. Let's say I have an email here that I need to do something with. I will swipe left on it and then I will tap flag. Now the email has a flag indicating I need to deal with this later. If it's an email that's very quick to reply to or handle, say in less than two minutes, I'll just do it in a batch process. If it's an email that takes a little bit longer, I'll share it to my to-do app to work on it later. If in addition to the mail app, you also use Apple's reminders app, you can share an email to reminders to create a to-do or a reminder for it. Here's how that works. Just select either the subject or the text in the email, and then you'll see this little pop-up. Just tap the right arrow, and then tap share and you'll see this screen coming up. Choose the reminders app and you'll see now there's a new reminder and you can change the subject line or you can change the text. So for example, reply to Chris regarding podcast and that'll get sent to the reminders app. Now, if I go ahead and open my reminders app, what I'll find is that in the inbox here, I've got the reminder and I can actually tap the button and it'll take it right back to the mail app, to the specific email. If you'd like to be reminded of an email without using any other apps, you can use Mail's built-in Remind Me feature. Just swipe left on the email you want to be reminded of, tap Remind Me and choose one of the presets or tap Remind Me Later to set a reminder at a custom time. For example, I can do it at 12.23 today. What's gonna happen at that time is you're gonna get a push notification and this syncs to all of your devices, by the way. And also, if you scroll all the way to the top, you'll see that the email at that time floats to the top of your inbox. The email doesn't get hidden from your inbox. It's not a snooze feature, but it will float to the top and you get the push notification. I showed you earlier how you can set up mail to only receive push notifications for new email that comes from people you've marked as VIPs, but we can customize our notifications a little bit more. Let's say there's an email thread and you really don't wanna get notified every time there's a new email in that thread. Just swipe right on that email, then tap more and then scroll down until you see mute. You can just tap mute and you'll still receive the new emails, but you won't get any new push notifications. You can also do the opposite. If you don't normally receive notifications for new emails, but there's one particular email that you've sent or one thread that you'd really like to be notified for, if there's a new email, here's how you do that. Just swipe right on it again, and again, tap more. Scroll down until you see notify me, tap that, and now you get those notifications for those emails. You can also do this when you're composing a new email, by the way. So let's say I'm composing a new email and I might send an email to my dad and like, hey dad, I can tap the bell icon right here in the subject line 
and I can tap notify me and then it says I'll receive notifications when anyone replies to this email thread. If you often find yourself wanting to see only emails that match certain criteria, you can use the quick filter. The quick filter is at the bottom left when you're looking at your mailboxes. And if you tap that, you'll only see emails matching certain criteria. To set or change those criteria, just tap where it says the bottom filtered by. For example, I've set it to show me emails that are unread and flagged. If I tap that, I can customize it. I can say I only want to see email from certain email inboxes or I only want to see email with attachments. Now, one thing that you might find handy is just to say, hey, I only want to see email where I am actually in the to line, where the email is addressed to me and it's not just CC. But what I personally use it for is I want to see all my email that's either unread or flagged because those are the emails that I still need to deal with, that I still need to batch process. If you want to scan a document or text and send that to someone, you can do that right when you're composing an email. Just go into the body text of your email and we'll do scanning a document first. Tap the scan document button. Move the document in view of your phone and it'll get scanned in a second. Now we can make some edits to it. Just tap the document at the bottom left. And for example, I can flip it over so that it's in the correct orientation. Now I can tap done and then I can tap save and the document is an attachment to the email. I can send that off. Scanning text works the same way. When composing an email, just press the button that's next to the scan document button, which is the scan text button. And you can take some text. For example, here I have some text about the bald eagle that I wanna send my dad because he's a big bird photographer. And then we press insert like this. And you'll see that the text gets formatted pretty nicely. It's often not perfect, but it's usually pretty good and good enough to send anyway. Another cool feature is that you can drag people from the to field to the CC or BC field. So let's say I'm composing an email, but I decide that I should BCC someone. I can just grab his name and drag him over to the BCC field right there and then send my email. If you're subscribed to iCloud Plus, you can also use a feature called Hide My Email that allows you to email people without them seeing your address, but they can still reply to you. Composing an email, and I'll just tap where it says from, and then I'll tap where it says from again. Now at the bottom, there's this option that says Hide My Email. Just tap that and it might take a second for Apple to generate an email address for you. You can then go ahead and send that email off and it'll look as if it's coming from this random address. But like I said, people can still reply to you. If you want to see which email addresses have been created for you, just go into the settings app, then tap your name at the top, then go to iCloud. And then at the bottom, you can tap hide my email. I won't show mine, but that's where you'll find your email addresses. While you're composing an email, if you ever want to refer back to another email, that's really easy to do. Just swipe down on the email you were composing, scroll until you find a different email, and when you're ready, you can go right back by tapping at the bottom to bring up the email you were working on. Now, if you need a little bit more time, you can save this email as a draft. So just tap cancel and save as a draft. Then what you do is go back to this main screen and tap mailboxes at the top left, tap edit at the top right and scroll down until you see where it says either drafts or all drafts and just tap that. And then you can see all of your draft emails, but there's an easier way to get to this still, even if you're in your inbox, see the button at the bottom right, the compose a new email button, just long tap that and all your drafts are right here. If you just sent an email and you realize that you made a mistake, that you forgot something, or if you just regret sending this email, you can undo sending it. Let's send this email. Now you'll see that at the bottom, it says undo send, and this stays up for a little while. If I tap that, boom, the email doesn't get sent yet. So there's a bit of a delay in there. Now you can set up how long this delay is by going to the settings app and the mail settings in the settings app. And then if you scroll down, you'll see where it says undo send delay right at the bottom and you can set that to 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or you can turn it off if you don't wanna use this feature and you want your emails to go out instantly. If you finished writing an email, but you don't wanna send it right away, you can use the send later feature. For example, if you were working on a presentation for your boss until two in the morning, but you don't want it to look like you were still working at two in the morning. When you're composing an email and when it's done, just long tap the send button at the top right and then you'll see those send options. So for example, you can send it at 9 p.m. tonight, 8 a.m. tomorrow, or you can tap send later and choose a custom time to send it. So let's say tomorrow. Now, do note that your phone has to be on at the time that you wanna send this email, all right? So your phone has to be on and connected to the internet as well. If you go to mailboxes at the top and then you just tap edit, you can also turn on the send later mailbox and if you go in there, you can send all the emails or see all the emails that you've scheduled to go out later. Here's another cool search feature in mail. I showed you earlier that you can search for emails with specific file types, but you can also search for emails that were sent at a specific date or in a specific date range. So let's start typing last weekend and then we can tap this and we see all the emails that were sent last weekend. But see at the top how it says date before and after. If you search date, it's on this date, so on last weekend. But you can also say, I wanna see emails that were sent before last weekend or emails that were sent after last weekend. Did you know you can easily turn an email into a PDF? Just tap the reply button at the bottom and then scroll down until it says print. 
At the bottom, where you see the thumbnails, take two fingers and swipe out on one of those thumbnails. So I'll swipe out on this particular one. It always takes me a few tries to get it. There we go. I've swept out on it. And swept? Is that the word? Swiped? Swiped out on it. Anyway, here's the email, here's a PDF, and it'll be all the pages. And now you can do whatever you want with this. So at the top, if you tap the little arrow icon, you can tap save to files, or you can print this PDF as well. Now here's a cool feature that might blow your mind. If you need to select multiple emails, just take two fingers and put them on one email and take them right down to all the other emails that you need to do with. And now you've multi-selected the emails. This also works in other Apple apps like files, notes and reminders, as well as in many third party apps. So have fun multi selecting. Now here's a really cool feature for if you use your device both at work and in your personal life. Let's say that you're at work and you don't want to see your personal emails or you're at home and you don't want to be reminded of your work emails. We can set up what's called a focus filter. Let's do that. We're going to go over to the settings app and go over to where it says focus. Then let's say we'll start with the work focus. Just tap that one and then scroll all the way down until you see add filter. Just tap add filter and choose the mail app. Now what I can do is uh, tap only my work account. So let's say this is my work email account. I can tap add. Now what I can do is if I go into the mail app and I open control center like so, and I tap where it says do not disturb or where it says nothing and I tap work. Now I'm in the work focus and you'll see that mail says filtered by focus and only my work emails will show up. And then you make sure that you set that up for any other focuses that you have as well, showing just the emails from just the inboxes that you care about at that moment. Here are a few other things that you might want to change in the settings app. Just tap mail and scroll down until you see where it says preview. It says two lines right now. So if you see that for each email, I have two lines of the email that I can see already before I tap on it. But I can change that. For example, I can set it to four lines and now I see much more of each email before tapping into it. Or I can set that to none at all. And then I'll just see tons of emails, but only the subject line. So that's a pretty handy one. I'm going to set this back to two lines because that, that's what makes the most sense to me. Now, another thing that you can do is tap under swipe options right here. And you can choose which actions you can take when you swipe left or right on an email in the mail app. So swiping left is like this, right? And uh, while well, that was right, and this was swiping left. All right, so you can customize that if you want. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you right over here is that you can choose whether or not to organize emails by thread and whether you want the most recent message on top. So just peruse this for a little bit and customize mail app to what makes the most sense for you. If you haven't already, you might really enjoy using a mail widget. So just go to any home screen where you have space and long tap until things start jiggling. Then tap the plus button and search for the mail app. Tap mail and you can grab one of these widgets right here and just tap add widget and it'll show up right there at the top. But you can customize what's shown in this widget. So long press the widget, go edit widget, and then you can choose a mailbox to show. For example, only your emails from VIPs, like I said right here, or maybe only your unread emails, which can be a really handy one. I don't have any of those right now, but uh, go set this up, play around with it. If you receive a PDF that you need to sign, you can do that right in the mail app. Just open the email and then tap on the PDF. Then at the bottom, tap the pencil icon. All right, then at the bottom right, tap the plus button. So you see signature right over there. Now you can write your signature. I'll just sort of do my initials for now and then tap done. And then you can go ahead and put that where it needs to be and resize it if you need to. And when you tap done, you can just choose reply all and it will reply to the sender with a signed copy of your PDF. If you enjoyed these tips, watch my video with tips for mail on macOS next. Thanks for watching. Ciao.